welcome to my channel i'm matt this is matt's mods and today guys it's our lamborghini mura build so we're gonna do stage 62 of build the lamborghini mura or should i say 61 because again we're using parts from the previous issue in the current issue and the current issue parts pretty well i'm just got enough said on that one uh i have looked ahead and i think we do catch up with the parts in a couple of issues so it shouldn't be long. Very confusing at the moment, but uh, we're just going to be working again on the front suspension on this vehicle today. So, um, lots of hopefully fun times ahead. Um, now, we have had to do what we did before, which was the uh, sanding of the paint on the parts. Uh, I've already done that, so we can just go straight into the build. I'm not really going to go through that in the instructions, because we did that in the previous issue. So, uh, yeah, should be a nice, simple issue, this one. Touch wood. Good job my desk is made of wood. And, uh, yeah, so enough of me waffling on. Let's get on with the build. So with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, so stage 62, we are going to be working on assembling the f and fixing the front right lower wishbone arm. Okay, so it should be a nice issue, this one. Uh, we kind of know what we're doing because we worked on it in the previous issue. Uh, this is stage 62 parts. Again, we're not doing anything with these until the next issue. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just wish they'd label them the same. Anyway, right. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to bring this piece off across here. And what we also need to do is need to bring these bits down here. Now, obviously, this is the other side. So... With this point here facing that way towards me, we need to put these on with these sort of notches here facing that way. Okay. And we're going to secure them in with some type G screws. Now we are going into oil. So we are going into oil. We are going into metal. So I'm going to have my little container ready. So, I need two G screws. These are quite big, long screws. So, with that notch facing towards me. Oh gosh, this could have been a bit better. Sanded down. With that. Right, I'm just going to get my little sanding file out. Sanding set, whatever you call it. I'll just uh, take the off set. I thought these would be okay. Just by taking that bit off, but they're not. So we are doing this. Just excess paint, but why they didn't allow for excess paint, I don't know. Okay, they should be okay now. Right, so let's get this sorted. So with that bit there, we want to make sure it's still quite tight. What we got going on? There we go. You don't want them too loose. Okay, and then we need to screw that in with a Type G screw. Okay, that one's in there like so. Now I've done both of these, so this one just should just fit on. Okay. It's a bit wiggling into place, but it goes in. And again, another type G screw. You have to take that one at a bit of an angle, but it does go in. Okay, that's that. Okay, so moving on to the next stage. 
our step we need to fit this on now this is just going to go on just into there that fits nicely and that's going to be secured in with a type g screw now the pictures never make this simple to which side these want to be going in but if we look at the pictures oh golly oh. it's coming in from this side here Yeah, that's in place. Fantastic. Okay, so we need to bring our our assembly across because we're going to be fitting this now. And simply, we are going to be fitting this just let's see into so if we have this round this way around like that we're going to be fitting these this way around going into oh just in there Trying to fit these in and not going in easily. The last one went in beautifully. That is a tight fit. Let's just check that there's nothing blocking it or anything like that. I'm just going to get my little diamond file out. There's a little bit over spray paint. Just on that one. These relatively fitted easy last time. There was no problems with them. Whatsoever, but this time, wow. Let's open up the hole a little bit more. Where I can I wonder if I got these on the wrong way around, you know. I'm not saying I have, but I'm just double checking. To just see. No, because there's still a tight fit. So, no.
Right, you really, really have to push then, but we'll try and get a screw in. Um, that's going to be screwed in with two type A screws. I'm hoping these are locked in. They look it. Oh, that seems to be going in up down there. <clears throat> I'll just try this uh, top one. Mm. Okay, that one's gone in down there. Thank goodness for that. Okay, so now we've done that. What we're doing next is we are going to be securing the tops in. Uh, where's that come from? Okay, that's come from there. I'll have to put that back on. Okay, so we need to be securing now these uh, suspension, top suspensions in. And they're going to be secured in with type P screws. So quite long screws. doesn't go all over the place that, that's going in nice like okay Another tight piece through on the other side. <laughs> Nicely going in. Wonderful. Okay, that's now back in place. And that's all there is to do in this stage, so... Yeah, that's been a bit of a bit of a nightmare, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, obviously, we had them not fitting, and then bits need filing, so that was a bit of a nightmare compared to the previous weeks where uh, we really didn't have uh, any problems at all. But that is stage sixty-two complete. Well, guys, that's it for the uh, Lamborghini Mura for today. Goodness me. That was a difficult one to do, things not lining up and really tough screws to get in. Goodness knows what's happening today, but uh, yeah, it just seemed to be a bit of a, a little bit of a difficult one, that one. But it got through it and yeah, we're still backed up in parts. But uh, yeah, what else can be said about that one? If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and be notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now.